Friends, welcome to our homestead. As you can tell from the title of the video, I did something pretty dumb and it is impeding me from getting work done on my property. And I should have thought about it before I did it. Let's talk about it. So let's get into it. I mentioned in a previous video that all of us need to stay physically fit, not only to ward off disease, but to help us in our strength and moving around all the stuff that needs to be moved around on a homestead and doing all the work that needs to be done on a homestead. I did mention numerous times over my almost 10 years here on YouTube how I've been seriously injured in the past, uh, one incident in particular. And those injuries, if I kept in shape, were kept in check. But it was only kept in check if I was careful and if I thought about my body mechanics properly and if I stayed strong. Well, one, I didn't stay strong. And two, I did this dumb thing that this video is almost all about. And that is I ran with my dog. You guys are going to laugh at me. I went running with my dog. I was playing with him and he's a, you know, 100 pound Great Pyrenees and juking back and forth, running back and forth, didn't twist a knee, didn't twist an ankle, but running full speed. I'm still pretty quick for my age and running full speed. He was running beside me. And of course a dog's faster than a human. He ran in front of me, laid down on the ground. Well, I was running full speed. I didn't want to injure him. So what did I do? I hurdled him. I jumped through the air so I didn't fall on him or trip and fall and injure both of us. Well, I got injured anyway, pretty bad. Um, when I flew through the air, I contorted my body in such a way that it set off all of my old injuries. And as you can see by this quick picture up on the screen, my spine isn't in the greatest of conditions. And since that's the case, I am in extreme pain right now. I have started physical therapy uh, twice a week and it's not doing anything to relieve my pain right now. I'm on my fourth, fourth session. Um, hopefully that'll help. Hopefully that'll get me out of pain and hopefully that will correct my body mechanics. But when I was chasing or running with the dog, I didn't think straight. I didn't keep my body mechanics in mind. You know, when I'm lifting things out here, I'm being very careful to lift with my legs, not my back. Don't put any extra strain on my back, but having two compression fractures that are uneven in your back causes the disc to bulge out one side. And, uh, it also causes some curvature of the spine because that disc or that, uh, compressed vertebrae is not straight. So unfortunately that's starting to cause a bit of curvature and the discs are bulging out. No bueno. <coughs> <coughs> On top of that, I have a pretty serious sinus infection. So I'm gonna get through this video and get back to work because another point of this video is you can't stop. You cannot stop when you're out here. Um, you can be smart about the things that you're doing and I have to be a little smarter now and there's certain things that I can't do like lifting, you know, big uh, wooden posts into a hole right now to build another trellis or a fence. I can't do that. I'll try to find some mechanical means, excuse me. I'll try to find some mechanical means to help me with that and help me with other jobs here on the property. But there's stuff that I can do now that uh, irritate the back a little bit, but they got to get done. Like we've been in here We've been in here planting seeds. So bending down and reaching over, bending down and reaching over, it's just setting things off, but it's gotta get done. I know my physical therapist does not want to hear that, but who else is gonna do it, right? Yeah, the girls are helping me, my wife's at work. So somebody has to do it if we want food growing on our property. I hope all of you are doing well and I want you to keep your body mechanics in mind. Use some mechanical means if you need to, you know, move things around. Like me right now, I cannot lift up my server rack batteries that I have in my house that I need to move out to the barn. So it's one at a time. It's not lifting them onto a cart all at the same time. It's scooting them along the ground or along the floor, putting them on a dolly, wheeling them out one by one and getting them into the barn. But friends, there's work that needs to get done and it needs to get done now. And I cannot slow down. I'm slowed down physically, 
but I'm still doing the work. So it's gonna take me a little bit longer, but I still gotta do it. This back thing has been going on for a while now, but you haven't really seen that in the videos, but it's really terrible. But I can't take time to stop and complain about it and sit on the couch. I've gotta keep moving. Now, I told you keeping moving was a good thing. Um, as long as you're moving in the right way. And I'm gonna reiterate that point a lot. You gotta think about how your body's moving, make sure you're strong enough, strengthen your muscles, and I wasn't doing that. Hopefully physical therapy will get the proper supportive muscles uh, strengthened. So I've got, you know, decent muscle, chest and arms and legs, but all those little tiny muscles that are connecting my spine together and, you know, in my back, and my abs, my core is terrible. That's something I never train and I should because it's so important. So it's really good to be in the sun if you're sick. If you have the flu, if you've got a sinus infection like I do, whatever it is, get out and get some sunlight during the day. That's so very important. Your, uh, it's important for sleep too because your mitochondria in your cells absorb the sunlight create the vitamin D that you need, and also it cre creates uh, melatonin naturally. And that helps you sleep at night. So if you wanna sleep better, you wanna be outside during the day for at least 20 minutes. Some people say 10 minutes, but I think you need a little bit more. I wanna be encouraging for you too. Just because you have an injury, please don't stop. Keep moving, but keep moving carefully. Keep moving however your physical therapist or your doctor tells you to move. Correct and good body mechanics. Doing things like feeding the chickens, they still have to get fed. The animals still need to get fed. I had to buy dog food, that's a 40 pound bag. Now that's fairly light for a lot of people, but for me right now, I had to pull it out of the truck, drop it on the ground, put it on the dolly, and then get it to the feed bin to fill the, it up that way. So however you gotta do it, do it. Okay friends, well there is a lot of planting that I need to get done. There's one more fruit tree that I need to prune and it's getting warm here in Texas. Keep moving friends and don't do dumb things like I did to injure yourself so that you cannot or it makes it difficult to do all the work out on your homestead. Work slow, work correctly, and you'll get through it. Okay, friends, have a beautiful, blessed day. Now go check out these videos right here, which shows you how we built this greenhouse by ourselves. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye.